Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to open the developer options on an Android device with Android 8.0. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is open apps. Now go to settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then go to about phone. Now I'm not actually going to show you guys the about phone page as it has my phone number and other information on it. So I'm just going to skip over that one. After you go into the about phone page, you're going to go to software information. So I'm going to show you guys the software information page and everything after that. Alright, once you get to the software information page, you're going to tap on build number seven times in a row. Alright, so it says developer mode has been enabled. Alright, now you're going to go back to the main settings page. Alright, so at the bottom of the page you see about phone and you should be able to scroll down a little further. Once you do that, you should see developer options. So I'm going to open that. Under developer options, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. It says make bug report, desktop backup password, stay awake, Bluetooth, HCI snoop log, OEM unlock, running services, picture color mode, web view implementation, auto update system, demo mode, quick settings developer tiles, USB debugging, revoke USB debugging authorization, include bug reports in power, mock location app, view attribute inspection, select app to be debugged, wait for debugger, verify apps via USB, buffer size for logging, authorize wireless display devices, Wi-Fi verbose logging, aggressive Wi-Fi slash cell handover, allow Wi-Fi roaming scans, keep mobile data turned on, USB configuration, disable absolute volume, Bluetooth AVRCP version, Bluetooth audio codec, Bluetooth audio sample rate, Bluetooth audio bits per sample, Bluetooth audio channel mode, Bluetooth audio LDAC codec playback, show touches, show pointer location, show screen updates, show layout boundaries, force RTL layout, which is right to left, window animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale, simulate secondary displays, minimum width, force GPU rendering, show GPU view updates, show hardware layers update, debug GPU overdraw, show non-rectangular clips, enable 4 times MSAA, disable hardware overlays, simulate color space, set GPU renderer, prevent USB audio routing, jerked mode, GPU rendering profile, do not keep activities, limit background processes, show all ANRs, show notification channel warning, inactive apps, force allow apps on external, force activities to be resizable, and reset the shortcut manager API call limit. Alright, now to turn off the developer options, all you have to do is slide the blue bar to the left. Now once you go out of the developer options, it's no longer going to show up. Alright, so that's how you open developer options on an Android device with Android 8.0. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.